Hey guys, welcome back to the game room. Today we're doing an unboxing of the Doomtown Reloaded Premium Edition. Now this is a really special edition version of the new Doomtown Reloaded expandable card game from AEG. And it's limited one per retailer, and it was very limited at Gen Con, so I'm very fortunate to have gotten this. Thanks to Sarah waiting in line for me, pretty much. So, thank you Sarah. And I am not a huge fan of unboxings if you've seen any of my videos before, but I do them infrequently when the components and things like that with the game are very high quality and are worth showing off on their own. And I think this is worth it. I want to show you what comes in the box, the special edition components, they're really interesting, really much an upgrade from the standard uh, premium edition starter. So let's take a look at that, and I'll give you my opinion at the end. So here we have the box itself. Uh, as you can see, it's got this uh, the logo on the box as well as on the slip that was over it. I keep saying premier edition i meant to say premium edition actually you have some rubber stoppers on the bottom here one thing i want to note uh that my hinge one of my hinge screws or i think this one over here was loose but i re-screwed it in it was all fine just look like the machine that the factory didn't do it correctly no big deal and you have two little latches and a nice metal uh metal handle over here so let's open it up and here we go we got the uh this is the rules themselves i believe this will be the quick start guide getting to know Gamora and here we have it so as you can see this thing looks pretty legit you have felt inlay which is nice uh, you have a bunch of poker chips in four different colors up here I've unwrapped those so they're pretty cool uh, they've just got a sticker in the middle and I believe I don't think they're clay I think there's really thick plastic but still pretty cool uh, that's a really neat addition over here you have uh, wooden faction cards which are uh, not something I'd probably use on a regular basis but an interesting little inclusion uh, the four different factions so far uh, really thick wood there so i don't know if that's something i'll use on a regular basis like i said but interesting addition uh over here we have all the cards for the uh starter this is essentially the equivalent of one uh one of the premier editions so you have uh, four of everything in here four of every card which is nice i guess i'll unwrap one of these just to show you the cards in the decks so i didn't actually unwrap these yet really brilliant decision hunter so after that Spielbergian editing job, we have the cards themselves, and these cards are really nice. I love the art that they've chosen for them. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them because I'm going to do a full review of this later and show you a lot of these cards. But yeah, now you get the picture. So that's what the front's like, that's what the back's like, has jokers, yada yada yada. <laughs> so it has a lot of good stuff there. But this stuff is stuff that would be in the regular starter. Down here we have these scrolls, which I haven't actually seen them. Let's save those for last I don't know what the heck these are. Up here we have a sheriff's badge which, uh, oh, excuse me, a deputy sheriff's badge, uh, which uh, is interesting. I'm not sure. Well, you know, that's just a cool thing. It's actually really thick metal, so that's really neat. Uh, I might use this for Sheriff Nottingham, actually, so that's pretty cool. And you have this pretty cool leather. I hope maybe leather, if not faux leather, so it's a really nice quality bag. And you have metal ghost rock, which ghost rock is essentially the currency in uh, Doomtown. You have uh, metal coins, little skulls on them there. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I like metal coinage. I definitely prefer like poker chips and metal coins to the normal punch out shit. So that's neat. It's something a component I probably would have upgraded in the game anyway with maybe lit co accessories or something. So that's really nice to have. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and unwrap one of these suckers. I really don't know what this is supposed to be. Uh, man, I almost don't even want to unwrap it, but you know what? I want to do it. Let's see if I can. I might have to do another editing. Nope, there it goes. Okay. Well. I thought there were one. Let's see. We'll unwrap that. Ah, there we go. Uh, so let's see, what is this? I think this might be the player, yeah, here we go. So it's the player board. This is a little interesting. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this. The, the main set has cardboard, like actual layout boards there. This is pretty cool, I guess. It's got a nice classic feel, but I feel like over continued play this might get torn up pretty bad so I honestly am not sure if I want to use this uh, for fear of destroying it or something so really neat little touch uh, I'm not sure if that's one I'll be using all that often but guys that is the Doomtown Premier Edition you got all the cards you got some pretty nice upgraded components I'm a re the big winners for me are the poker chips and the ghost rock I love metal coins so these are gonna be awesome I love poker chips that's gonna be amazing Obviously the cards, you know, that's awesome that they included the, you know, two full starters in here. Uh, not sure on the mats, I think they look awesome. They look kind of like deeds or something, some classic thing in the Old West. Sheriff, uh, Sheriff's uh, Star, it's interesting, it's a nice little memorabilia thing, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, these are probably uh, cool for some people. I think this will be for the people that like to have 
uh, maybe in other card games they'll have like pimped out versions of their avatar or whatever character, you know, some where you have a character on the side. They'll probably like that a lot, like the house cards in a, a Game of Thrones or something. But yeah, I think overall it's a really good value. I think, I mean, you're getting the contents from two starters and you're getting some really cool upgraded components. I'll take you to my final opinion and give you the full breakdown. So guys, that is the Doomtown Reloaded Premier Edition, Premium Edition unboxing. First off, this will not replace the actual review of the game. I will be doing that in a later time when I've actually learned the game and gone through and feel comfortable showing the game off and kind of showing you how to play as well. But I did want to get this out because I really do like the components. As you can tell from the video, this is a high quality set. They're really nice quality poker chips. I do wish that they didn't say just DT on either side. I wish there was maybe some other symbol or iconography that looked a little bit cooler. But that's a really cool touch. I really like the real poker chips. The metal ghost rock is probably my favorite part of this soul set because I like uh, metal coinage or special coinage. Uh, so lit co accessories, metal accessories, things like that. That always uh, takes the bank for me. I really like stuff like that. The uh, sheriff's badge is interesting, not really super useful for me, but it's cool. It's like a first player marker for this or maybe some other game. Uh, the felt inlay is really nice. The actual box itself is nice. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I like the paper rollout mats. I actually think I prefer the cardboard mats from the regular edition, so that's kind of an odd choice. I know it looks kind of vintage though, the way you roll it out. It looks really high quality, but it's really thin paper and it's not like protected by any kind of, uh, it's not laminated or anything like that, so any kind of dampness or any moisture at all is going to destroy those mats, so I'm probably never going to end up using those. Uh, the wooden uh, faction cards are interesting. I might use those. I, I'm on the fence on those. They're kind of cool, kind of okay. I think the Metal Ghost Rock and the Poker Chips, though, are like the stars of this set. I will say, the storage on here is not good at all. The actual card storage, this is not useful for that at all. It's, it's, it barely fits the cards unsleeved as it is. So I'm pretty much, I'm not going to be taking this around to like actually uh, bring my decks and things like that most likely. Unless, I, can, I mean, I could probably fit two decks in here. Uh, so I might bring it just as a really, really elaborate deck box. Uh, but most likely, the box itself will stay behind me on the shelf and look cool, and I'll get that metal ghost rock and the uh, poker chips, maybe redistribute those in a, a way that I can take to tournaments in a smaller package. Uh, so, honestly, overall, it's a really cool set. If you missed out on it, though, it's not the biggest miss, because uh, you can just get two starters, and, for, you know, the components of that are just fine. I also have a regular starter that I'm using as storage uh, and trading the cards away from, essentially, so... I'm still got the storage of the starter set, which I will show more of when I actually do the real my actual review of the game. Uh, it's essentially just a standard Thunderstone AEG card holder box, which is perfectly fine. Works just just really well and has a lot of room for expansion. So that's a great box too. You're not missing out on that front. If you really want the poker chips, the metal ghost rock stuff like that, I think it's worth having. So yeah, I, I mean it was it was kind of pricey, but you do get four of every card. So I mean you're you're essentially paying a little bit more than two starters. Uh, for this, and you're getting the cool metal ghost rock and the poker chips, so, and, and the really cool wooden box. I mean, it is a really cool looking box on the outside, so I think it's worth it. I think it's, if you can have, if you can track it down, if you're into Doomtown, if you know you're gonna like it, I would definitely take a look at it. Uh, if, you, if you missed out though, you know, it's, it's cool to have, but it's not, definitely not necessary. You're not missing out on a huge amount there. It's just a cool additional thing to have. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. It was a, it's a pretty cool little item. Uh, you might see on the shelf behind me. I'm not sure where I'm actually going to put it. Uh, and be on the lookout for the Doomtown review. Should be coming up, uh, maybe not this week, maybe in a couple weeks or so. Once I, I really want to learn the game a bit more uh, and really play through it. But know that I know the rules before I show you guys the game. Uh, but I also want to probably check out uh, Couple vs. Cardboard now that Doomtown's starting to get out. Uh, Glenn is a huge Doomtown fan. And he's been uh, on he's been on the train since day one. Me and him are really excited about this game, so I'm sure he's gonna have some Doomtown related content. Maybe we can collaborate on some stuff too. So be on the lookout for stuff like that. And guys, as always, can check out our social media. All those links are in the description below. Twitter, Facebook, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm blanking out here, guys. Instagram, uh, Patreon, all that good stuff is in the description below. And uh, you can always subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. Share the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, we're coming out with new content. A lot of a lot of new Gen Con reviews are on their way, and a bunch of new Kickstarter previews on their way as well. So, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time in the game room.